All right, I'm back. Sorry, it took a little longer, but uh, I was hungry and I wanted to get something to eat. Um, yeah. So, we beat episode four. Time to run episode five. No time left. Walking Dead. Let's do it. Yeah, basically, if you ask for a Platinum, Sony will give it to you. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? Also, VNs are great. Yeah, I don't know, Melty. But uh, if the Ratalaika games can have a plat, anything can. They just don't, I guess, they just don't care. Fuck. Some devs don't realize that that's important for some people. I guess. So they don't fight for it. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. We'll try to find another way out of here. Damn, Rogue Legacy. Now, I'm sorry to hear that. Because, I mean, I love visual novels, but Rogue Legacy. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. I mean, different strokes for different folks, right? Hey. We'll have time to chit chat later. Any trouble? thousands of dead filling the sewers and God only knows how many up top so you know I should keep looking for a way out yeah get to it this is a good help was the beat the game in 15 lives of locking the map layout achievement it was damn difficult yeah that that game does not sound fun to me, but I, I'm not a big into roguelikes. Where the hell did they go? Or roguelites or whatever you want to call them.
holds it between the doors. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yeah, I watched the... Uh, I think Danganronpa 3 was the only anime I watched last year. And it's not from last year. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. There's a Nekopar episode coming out. Uh, an animated episode or a new episode of the visual novel? about trying to save him at the very least buy him some time chopping his arm off do we know it works we don't know anything we know there's gonna be a lot of blood there's gonna be a shitload of blood what if he dies then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah let's do it maybe it'll work it's a big risk yeah we're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. You're ah! Ah! Try to stay still. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> I know! Don't cut with the handle. on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed him. Gross. Phantom pain. <laughs>
So, so Melty, is this uh, an Echo Bar episode uh, like a sequel? You okay down there? Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. I'm just getting away. Jesus Christ. Okay. Isn't this season, doesn't this season have a uh, Psychopaths 3? Or was that last season? Damn. It's fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. What a thrill. Was the last season or the season before? Okay, okay. I need to get on uh, watching that. I've been told it's really, really great. No held. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. It wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. The season it was too short to feel like it might have been a season before? It was still last season, okay. Was it less than 12 episodes? Bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Wait, wasn't Dragon Ball Super supposed to come back? On in January? He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension letter. Dragon Ball Super? When? Uh, there were rumors. I guess they never materialized. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. <laughs> a 
Hello, Thrill. How are you doing? Here's a way to. <clears throat> yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't walk in the streets. <laughs> thank you for the bits, Melty, and thank you for the bits, Thrill. <clears throat> Psychopath 3 was only 8 episodes. Ah, oh, that is really small. I see what you mean. Hospital must have run out of doctors. What's up? Well, just started episode five. How are you? <clears throat> That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Ah, they are 40 minute episodes? That's, uh, oh, then, then it's, it's as if it was 16. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. All right. Oh, wow, episode five already. Is that, uh... Is that legit admiration? I thought I would go faster. In the middle of some hot Yakuza action, we wanted to stop in, we in and out, so <laughs> you like it? Interesting. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh, I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. Enjoy your hostess videos, throw. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? The mansion's that way. Bell Tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that, yeah. What's going on? That's just... Everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. Hey, I think I think Arty is the first person to say Kiwami One is his favorite.
What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's good. Wouldn't mean shit if you hadn't left Clementine with me when you went into Crawford. That little girl saved my life. She's something, right? Yeah. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. Yeah, Judgment is the one where you play uh, a detective. Are you not interested in it, Artie? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. Hey. I'm lighter now. Just never looked at it. We'll check out, though. It's... Uh, according to what people say, it's a Yakuza game, but even better. What else do you need to know? Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Sounds pretty sexy to be honest. Yeah. Sounds It sounds sexy because it is. <laughs> Why the hell are we letting the one arm guy do all the high risk maneuvers? Cause the one arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. Wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there. Yeah. How can you jerk off the air with only one hand? I died. Well, I hope you rest in peace, Select Lol. A few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. Locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. It was not zombie kill of the week. It was a good zombie kill, though. I guess the zombie kill of the week was must have been the magical TV dropping on the magical zombie. Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! That's not that far. 
are just a little hub. Fly on the wings of love. Yep, don't help, guys. It's fine. Good goddamn leap, pal. Yep. Let's get the hell off this roof. It's it's all because I'm a lighter now. <clears throat> but I could have used the hand. Wow, one hand pull up, what oh a god. You you don't want to know how much he bench presses. Was his right hand? Yeah, exactly. Come on, please. <clears throat> what are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her, and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless! What happened to your arm? We cut it off! Ben, I could just kill you right now! I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Can't we do this on top of Ben's grave? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits! Hey, chill! Here's some pills! Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. Yeah, and he lost them because of you. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben. Um... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Who cares? Everyone's family is dead. Don't remember how Katya and Duck died? 
So that got bit when they were leaving the motel. Be able to get into the backyard, right? Right. Maybe not. We In the RV. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Help Krista. Got it. Omid. What is it? He beat Katya when she was crying. No, no, no. Front doors. She killed herself because she couldn't. She couldn't handle the thought of him dying. He was almost dead, and they were going to put him down, but she killed herself first. Please help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! He never turned. Pretty sad, Loki. No, not Loki at all. Really sad. Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. You had to open your big mouth. Hey, I know you. Don't worry guys, the worm one-armed man will push it. Everyone Man is a walking zombie beacon, he yells and removes barricades and invites trouble. He's the worst. He really is the worst. It's like how the hell did this guy live this long? See an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three, five, four, two. You all know where to aim. She walked all the way from Crawford. Crawford is uh, the name of just a like a, a, a plaza that's really close by. It could basically be like two blocks away. Still doesn't make sense. That's not what makes what doesn't make sense. Because supposedly they had barricades all around it. That is what doesn't make sense. That she would go past the barricades. Dropped it down there. Yeah, can I drop you now? That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Need Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> Do they even have a vehicle to pull the boat? You're not looking great. I think they were gonna push the... the... thing. I'm okay. Don't... What 
that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. Oh, they... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> yeah, that's why it can't get out of hands. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you got the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in the bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? <laughs> You make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Rose got enough he found. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Um... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Wait. 
for the YouTube thing. He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah, I feel bad for him, too. He uses shit like that often? That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, sounds like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Let Ben do it. At least it would be useful for once. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. That uh, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it? Did it help at all? Feel like the man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. It's just fucking hell. At least he told. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, Ken. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> He's just moping. You're right to hate him, you know? Maybe. But what good's it doing? I'm not getting them back. He's having a rough go. Yeah. We all are. It's a rough world. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well... Cheers. Fuck it. Things are looking up. It's a rough world in which to be an idiot who gets people killed at literally every turn. Indeed. Imagine how big this group would be without Keep a Ben. Damn eye out. How would you manage such an ensemble cast? This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Lee probably would, wouldn't have gotten beaten. Uh, that's... that might be the one thing that, uh, it's not his fault. seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more you did everything you could no Lee I could have been a better husband better father 
could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I thought I had a gun. Oh, it's in my back. Yeah, we're not going out this window. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. It's not in the inventory, but it's in my back. House is full too. Stay quiet. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, have Lee do everything first. I, I, it's not directly his fault, but, but you're right, Skovex. Well, tough cookies. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um... I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... How does one fall on top of the garbage and then ends up with garbage on top of him? Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God!
He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Kenny, please! He's impaled, Skovax. There's more the spare. <laughs> Can you remember what I did differently when I got here and knew sure there were already crap tons of walkers in the alley when Ben fell? No, he always falls like this. If there are walkers down there, which there can be when you get here, it's because Ben isn't with you. Yeah, you see him in pain, that's it. They're gone. No, Kenny, Kenny is still alive. God damn! God! If you don't lose Kenny here, you lose Kenny, like, right in the next scene. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense that he got out of here. But then again, it makes even less sense right for him to get out of the... Uh, the other predicament, the next one coming up. Clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, 
means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I just saw your friends get killed. I mean before. Back in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Hello, Needless Bun. How are you? Uh, I think there was a dumpster, yeah. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. So, Skovex, if, uh... If it didn't happen then, the Kenny would be lost here. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think the radio falls in or something, and he drops in to pick it up. Something like that. I've played the game before, Needless One. Um, just uh, replaying it, and then I'll play uh, Season 4 Blind. Krista falls in, yeah. And Kenny goes in to save her. She doesn't fall in, right? Isn't it the... She goes to get the, the radio or something? Thanks for the follow, Needless Bun. I appreciate it. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. It does. Very, very much. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Uh, 
people that are like wearing full clothes, beautiful moralist demeanor are really the one. You should wear more tight fitting clothes and dress in layers, preferably with tightly sewn addition of something firm yet malleable like leather or a really tight weave. Give opponents something to grab on. Want to or an easy way to tear into you. I guess they have what they could get. Hey, that zombie looks way better. I remember the scene kind of looked like shit. The lighting wasn't very good. Still a cool scene, though. Get myself a long red, red leather coat and a sword that's slightly too big to be realistic and a white wig. Why not just dye your hair? Fuck it, bleach it! You're not cleaning anything else anyway, so you can use bleach. For some reason I always have dreams of zombie apocalypses, it's just me. Uh, well, I, I've never had one. Point taken, bleach it is. Do it. I'm a little sister in this scenario. Wow. It's just regular RT. But with bleached air. And fuck did they find the right room? Well, he did talk to Clementine about where they were staying. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking. Who would have it out for me? 
Huh. A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. You must be getting great results Everything lately. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. <coughs> so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. 
You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <gasps> That's... So true. What? So these deaths are really anticlimactic. Hey, honey, I think this is all going to work out. <laughs> I'm glad too. I wish you wouldn't have. Oh done. boy. It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I guess it starts here to give you a chance to Choose a different so thing to hit him this. with. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> he has a head in the back. Yeah. God damn it. have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? So scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. 
Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. I think you can not choke him all the way, yeah. But he still ends up dead. Which way out? Through there. They've decided to spare him from this cruel world. Exactly. Which way out? Through there. Yeah, that's why I wanted to check this door first. Don't you mean fun?
This, if you don't cut off your arm, this is like the third time you faint or something. Please, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. It's a good thing. Lee, they're dead. They really are. But you know, they're gonna be sad for a very long time. But you know what happened to them. When we get you somewhere safe, we just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> <laughs> you do that? Because I was big. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. Use the bat 
to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. And don't be scared of the hawk. You'll be fine. Grab the chair clip. Use it to reach in to the lock. Gets close. You can do it. What should I get first? It's, uh, I should have picked the gun. I think it's the exact same result if you say a gun or a keys. She never ends up touching anything. I did it. I got him. You can take care of yourself. See? No, not all the time. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. I can. 
You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. Sorry, you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? Het is een dier. What a flea appears in the episode, in the epilogue of the final season. He probably will. That's a memory. Yeah, I'm I'm not heartless, so I think this is pretty sad. But um But hey, it was well written, that's for sure. And very well acted. I I I keep being amazed at how well acted Lee is. Dave Fenoy is really outstanding and in, in this especially in these in this last stuff it's a shame they didn't choose him to be Ezekiel in the TV show would have been amazing
Alright. Well, those are our choices. This was... this episode was, uh, so much smaller than all the other ones. Uh, I guess it's because you don't play the... the whole part. Or you don't play the... the balcony part. So... Even then, it would still be... Smaller. It's not a heartless to have no feelings for video game characters, like not having feelings for a lamp they aren't real. Uh, yeah, lamps are real, Skovex, I'm sorry to say, but I have some right here, so... I don't know what, uh... I don't know what you're getting at. Anyway, with that attitude, then there's no point in playing. Um, if you don't feel anything, then yeah, just play games for mechanics, for gameplay. Uh, there's no reason to play something like this, which I'm not saying you should play. Uh, but... If I don't feel something for a game, then that game failed me. Uh, so... Yeah. I don't... Uh, the radio voice is not the same as the stranger? Weird. No, I think it's, uh... It's, it's, it would be unthinkable for me not to feel anything here. But, um, but that's it. I play stuff for story and I want to care. If I don't care, then there's no point in playing. But yeah, we'll keep caring tomorrow uh, as, uh, as we get to season two. Also, the, apparently, uh, for 400 days, considered episode 6, we'll play the DLC, which is 400 days, now episode 6, and, um, and that's it. And we'll start season 2 with episode 1. <laughs> Um, anyway, have a good night, thank you for hanging out, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, with what I just said. Goodbye.